All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys a little rundown on how to create an FMOD sound file for Crisis, generally used for weapons. In this video, I'm not going to show you guys how to configure your XMLs to use the sound, but I'm just going to show you how to build one, and I might do one that teaches you how to integrate it in, into your XMLs. So first, I've got my two sounds here. I've got my whole mod directory already set up here. You can already look and see how I basically have it set up. I have it in my Crisis Mods folder, name of my mod, Game Sounds folder, G43. I have two sounds, I have a reload and a shoot. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up FMOD Sound Designer. You probably won't get that error, but I did. <coughs> First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New. And you're going to go to your mod directory, so I'm actually just going to copy this here. Paste this in here, and I'll bring us to our mod directory. I'm going to name this G43. That's the name of my weapon. Now, first thing we're going to do in the events tab is we're going to rename this to fire. This will be my fire event. And this will also be fire. We're going to add a new event. Name this one reload. Then we're going to add another, right click, add another event, name it reload. Now we're going to go over to sound definitions. Now we're going to add sound definitions tab. I mean, Right click here, hit add event sound definition. Then we're going to type fire here again. Right click, add another empty sound definition. Then we're going to type reload. Okay, actually, before we created reload, I should have had you on fire. Right click fire once it's created and had, and then hit add empty sound definition. Na I'm sorry, wrong one. Add wavetable. Now you're going to select your sound. Make, this is very important that you get these sounds right for your sounds to line up correctly. So make sure that fire is going to be your fire wave. And now expand that. You should see shoot is fire. Okay. And then you're going to right click on reload and do the same thing. Add wavetable. And it's going to be your reload wave. So you have both your waves there. Now you're going to go ahead and go over back over to events. And now expand fire and double click on your fire event. This will come up. Now you'll be in the event editor tab. Right click right here, hit add sound, select fire, and select OK. Now you notice how it put it in this weird position. This is not good because this right here will actually be a delay. So you want to drag it all the way as far over to the left as it'll go. Now this is very important as well. Right click on your fire wave here in your little layers, whatever this thing is called, <laughs> and select. Let's see, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm doing this off the top of my head. What am I doing? Right click. Sound instance properties. This is very important unless you want your weapon sound to loop no matter what. Loop. Select one shot. And then hit close. Okay, you're set there. Now you should be able to play it. And it should only play once. The reason it played a bunch of times is because I just tapped it. But that's what your gun will sound like. So now go ahead and go back over to the events tab. Expand reload. Double click on reload. And now do the same thing here, add your reload tab. Then you'll see here, okay, it's automatically to the beginning of the file. Right click, sound instance properties, one shot, close. Okay, now everything should be set up. Your sound tables are here, your sounds are there, your events are all set up for each different type of event. And go ahead and go to file save, and it'll save the project that you created, the FDP. Now, go ahead and go to build, and then select build project. Now this is important. I uh, usually build. I can't. I think I can't remember which one I build, but it's important when you go to edit your XMLs. You might as well click all three because it'll actually give you a list, a general file structure for your XML when you go to add your custom sound. So we're going to go ahead and select those three and make sure you select. Make sure you click this, or else it won't export it correctly, or build it, I should say. And go ahead and select build, build complete. Now go back into your folder and you should see a few of these, the FSB files, or the FEVs I should say. These, This FEV is actually what the game is going to call for, so if you have an FEV, you probably did it right. You no longer need these waves in there, but I would keep them just for troubleshooting. It, it will, If you do your XML correctly, it will call for this FEV containing these sound files, so you shouldn't need these anymore, but if this is your first time doing it, definitely keep it, because you never know, you might have to do this all over again. It'll ask you to save when you go to close again because you built, and apparently it thinks building changes everything, so go ahead and click yes. And hopefully in my next video, we'll show you how to integrate it into your XML. But that is the basic setup. This, this 
FMOD tutorial I just gave you should allow you to do more than just weapon sounds. As long as you call for the sound files correctly through your XML and know your directory setup, you should be good from here.